Hi guys, today I wanted to talk to you about my Google Calendar, be how I made my Google Calendar nice and aesthetic and pretty to look at and made it something that I really want to use. So I love my Google Calendar, I'm a big planner. If you follow my channel then you probably know I'm really into bullet journaling particularly and also Notion, but Google Cal is a more recent obsession. So I used to do future and monthly logs particularly in my bullet journal, but now I like to do them on my Google Calendar just because I get a bit more planning space and it's way more flexible. And I also use my calendar for time blocking when I'm really busy and particularly when I was at university. This is my old Google Calendar. Looking back, I did have it color coded quite well. All of the different colors do mean something. So I had like deadlines, working on YouTube, working on uni, meetings, class, but the codes, as you can tell, were quite university specific. And I didn't love the colors. They're just the basic Google colors. And then if we skip to a time when I graduated, so like during the summer, because the codes were so university specific, I kind of ditched the color coding and just did all one color or a bit of everything. So I ended up looking like this, which I didn't love and I knew I wanted to renovate it. So I finally got around to it. And this is what my new calendar looks like. So first of all, I used coolers.co, like colors with two O's to find color palettes and look at cool colors and get inspiration. This is a really good website. You can press through by pressing your space bar. It just generates different color codes for you. And there is a paid version, but everything I've done is on the free version. So I got inspo from there and I screenshotted colors to remember the hex codes. And then I went to Canva to make a color palette and to finalize the colors. I use Canva to make a guide to assign the colors to different calendars and topics. So this is something I didn't know and I think this was the main reason my Google Calendar didn't look good. You have to make a new calendar for each color you want. So before I just had my Elsa calendar and then I'll go through and change the color but what you need to do if you want your own colors is to make a different calendar for each type of thing you're adding. So for example when you're going away if you're on transport to do's or events they all need to be different calendars so I'm going to show you how I do that. So what you want to do is look at my calendars and scroll down and then press the plus sign next to other calendars. Then I type in what I want to call it so for example let's say I'm making a to-do calendar then press create calendar and then go through onto my calendars once you've created all your calendars and then you can change the color. So you do this by pressing the little three dots once you're hovering over the calendar you want to change the color of then pressing the plus symbol and then you can type in the hex code. So this is why I use Canva. On Canva once you press on the color I'll show on the screen over here you can go to the color wheel and see the hex code and also on coolers you can see the hex code it's written down the bottom this is what you're going to use to type it into google and use the custom colors and like i said you can see them in canva but i've copied and pasted it onto my guide so i have access to them really easily and then also i pasted the hex codes once i picked the colors back into coolers because they have like auto generated names for all the colors and i thought that was really cute so just for fun i put those names in my guide as well i'm gonna have my guide up on screen you can steal the hex codes you can get inspiration if it's different seasons you might want to change it up. But I think having this guide makes it really easy to, if I did want to change it, to keep track of it and just have everything nice and organized. This is what my Google Calendar looks like now. I really like it. I think it's just so much more calm and aesthetic and pleasing to look at. And the more mild pastel colors are much more my vibe. They're very nice for the cooler weather. And then I'm also gonna pop onto a day where I have some time blocking so you can see what that looks like. And yeah, I know this was just a short video, but this is how I made my Google Calendar. And if you guys do a Google Cal renovation, do tag me on Instagram on your stories because I really want to see it. So I just wanted to jump in because my camera ran out of charge when I was filming that last part. But thank you so much for watching. Please do like if you did like this video and please do subscribe. There's tons of cool planning videos and autumn videos coming up. And thank you again for watching.